know for the first time how officers are being shifted around to cover layoffs. News Channel 5's Dan Haggerty joins us now. And Dan, among other things, people wonder, do fewer officers mean more crime? Well, city officials will tell you fewer officers means greater risk. How much risk? Take a look at the numbers. In this list of 321 laid off city workers, no one is more affected than Cleveland cops. 123 officers are now gone. It's that wake up call. You know, it's never going to happen to me, and it happens. So it's like everybody that walks in, it's like, you know, you're looking at them, you're, you're sizing them up. We first talked to Nick Curry weeks ago when his east side pet store was robbed for the second time. Nick showed us bullet holes where the masked suspects shot at his customers and where he was when he shot back. Everybody's, you know, they're scared. You know, and they're worried. You know, I mean, it's something that you don't take uh, lightly. I showed Nick the changes being made with Cleveland Police. Eleven fewer narcotics officers, cutting the unit almost in half. The joint task force that works directly with federal law enforcement is now gone. Each district will lose a detective and someone from its vice unit. And starting next year, no more cops in schools. Now zone cars will answer those calls, but there are fewer of them as well. It doesn't make me feel good. It doesn't, you know, because what that means is. A longer response times. So Are they going to get here in time to, to help us if we need it? And talking about response times, each district with the police will now have one fewer two person car, one fewer one person car. That will no doubt affect response times. Same goes for the fire department with their cuts as well. Reporting live tonight, I'm Dan Haggerty, News Channel 5. Yeah, a lot of concerns there. And, and does uh, Nick Akori have plans to change how he is going to protect his store? Uh, those plans are already in the works. He already has more security, and if you can believe it, Lee, all of his employees now carry handguns. Wow. Okay. All right. Dan Haggerty, thank you.